We're here with Michael Smith, director of the Social Innovation Fund. Uh, Michael, great to be with you. Good to be here. Thank you. Thank you. So tell us about the Social Innovation Fund. The Social Innovation Fund is a simple vision of the president to do two things. One, to see if we can find the solutions all over the country that are working, and then can we shine a giant spotlight on them and replicate them across the country where there are challenges that need innovative new solutions. The other thing it's designed to do is actually align dollars to interventions that have evidence of impact. Not how many kids are you serving, but what impact are you having on the life and can you prove it? That's where we're trying to put our money and bet on the winners. The fund is capitalized with about $70 million. And can you tell us who exactly is getting those dollars and to what end? So since our first funding competition in 2010, we've moved about $180 million in federal dollars. And our grantees are actually grant-making institutions, or big nonprofits that actually do grant-making as part of their business. Those grantees match the grants that we give them one-to-one, -one, and then they host open competitions to find nonprofit solutions all across the country, affecting low-income communities around healthy futures, economic opportunity, and youth development. Tell us a specific example of an organization and why it's worthy of receiving uh, government investment. One that I visited recently was Single Stop USA. It's an organization that works with community colleges and it's a one-stop shop. So someone that is low income and thinking about going to community college can go to the center and find out all of the government benefits that they have access to, from Pell Grants to other scholarships if they have children, the types of childhood benefits that they can get, and they're not left on their own. There's actually volunteers there that help them to navigate the system. There's a lot of private wealth uh, focused on some of these problems. Why does government have to uh, engage and enter the fray? You know, I, I see social innovation on a, on a scale uh, or a spectrum. So at the beginning of that scale, you have private philanthropy, which is really helping to seed innovation. Now, will government get involved at that role? Not necessarily. But three, five, seven years later, when those bets are starting to show some early evidence, it's time for government to come in and actually see if we can charge some resources, not only to evaluate it, to test it out, to see if it really does work, but to begin to scale it. Tell us a little bit about your journey, your personal journey and what ultimately brought you to this role? I grew up in a single parent household. Um, my mother was 16 when she had me. And so the Boys and Girls Club in my community was a safe place, it was a babysitter, and I was fortunate to have just an incredible grouping of mentors. I, you know, I think about the different pathways that I could have gone if it wasn't for this social sector that really stood up and, and created a pathway for me. And so that influences and colors every single decision that, that I make. I'm sure there are some people, they may be a little skeptical about the need for the fund in still challenging economic times and challenging fiscal times. What do you say to some of the skeptics? We have job deficits, uh, we have hope deficits, and all too often, we as philanthropy, we as government, we as individuals, continue to write checks and support nonprofits that have no evidence of impact, that year after year are serving populations and those populations continue to fall into the cracks. So to skeptics I say, it's time to think about something new. It's time to disrupt what's not working and that's what the Social Innovation Fund is all about. And before we have a single piece of qualified evidence, we are only investing in nonprofit organizations that have proof of impact. You're now four years into um, the fund, um, but it's only lived in one administration. Mm -hmm. Do you worry that a different political climate could jeopardize um, the fund sustainability. How do you think about that? I think about future administrations and I think about it all the time. So I approach my work with a great deal of urgency. But I think the model uh, that we're using and the work that we've been able to put together so far is something that uh, Republicans, Democrats, and, and future presidents will, will be interested in.